Okay. Yep. It's recording. Thanks. Okay. Thank you, Anthony, for the introduction. And thank you, everyone, for joining me today. Um, well, first of all, of course, we need to thank the two uh, organizing uh, departments. The first one is, of course, the uh, Student Affairs Office, and then the second one is the English Language and Culture Center. Thank you for, thank you, these two units for, for organizing the CV writing workshop and the interview workshop. Now, um, I understand that some of you are going to do a summer job or an internship. So I believe that this workshop is going to come in handy for those of you who are going to apply for a job. For those of you who have already applied, this should also be, I think, very useful information for your future applications. Um, okay, before we start, let us do a very short quiz. This quiz is to, you know, let you know some of the things about um, job application. And okay, I think that we can, okay, we can make good use of the chat room here. So for these questions, maybe you can respond to me through the chat room. By the way, if you have any questions today during the presentation, during my presentation, please feel free to ask questions in the chat room. Now, the first thing that I would like to ask, the first question in this little quiz is, which resume format do you think recruiters prefer? One is called chronological and the other is called functional. You could input a C in the chat room if you think the chronological is more preferred. And you could input an F in the chat room if you feel that the functional resume is more preferred. Well, maybe at this moment you don't know the difference between the two. I do have a short um, explanation in brackets. Chronological resumes are resumes ranged around a certain date. So you, you list your experience according to the date. On the other hand, functional resumes are arranged according to your skills. For example, you may have, okay, you may say that, okay, I have good management skills and then you have for several jobs under that particular skill. So anyone would like to give us their answer to this? C, yes, chronological, okay. Thank you, Wei Sheng, for your answer. Thank you, any other? Thank you, Celine, thank you so much. Um. In fact, I think that there is no right, wrong answer. I mean, both kinds of uh, resumes are actually pretty much in use. But then it's been found that the chronological seems to be the more preferred um, kind of resume for the, uh, for the recruiters. Somehow it is um, maybe easier to digest uh, if you're following a chronology. Chronology means a list of events according to date. So later on today, we are going, I'm going to show you both. I'm going to show you what it is like to be using a chronological resume and what it is like to be using a functional resume. Now, next question. A lot of experts in the field of recruiting think that the best way for us to find a job, for example, us like college graduate to find a job today is by, which one do you think is the most, uh, is the best way according to according to experts. Yeah, we do search the internet. We actually also do send our hundreds of resumes. We we rely on our network. We also of course read the classified ads. But which one do you think is the best out of these four? Yeah, we probably do all of them. Which one is the most effective?
internet, yes. Searching the internet. Um, um, yeah, these days we, we always, we always do that by, we always try to find a job by looking at, you know, the job at, not only the classified ad, but the ad on the internet, but it looks like that the success rate is highest through networking. Later on, I have another question about networking. Um, the best place to look for a job online is, it's a very popular job, CB, CP job, indeed.hk. These are the, some of the most popular job search websites in Hong Kong. But the last one is, is of course the company website. Which one do you think is the best? Jobs, CP, CP jobs, indeed, company web. Thank you again, Weijing. Jobs, CP. Yes, Jobs, CP is really, I think uh, it has got really lots of jobs. Um, but my suggestion to you is, of course, you look at all these sites, but then ultimately, the company website may be the best. Why is that? It is because some companies may have their job ads somewhere on JobCB, on CB Jobs, on Indeed. However, those uh, are places where they have to pay for, for doing the ads. So some companies actually put their job ads only on company websites. So I would say the first had to get the first hand information about jobs, all of them, of course. But don't forget, I think the most important is the company website itself. Now, I have just talked to you about networking. You need networking to find a good job. Who should be on your list of people to contact about jobs? Employers, friends, family members, neighbors, alumni, or your dentist, your doctor, your insurance agent. School alumni and instructors, yes, those people are really your first point of contact really, because they are in the field and they know a lot about the, you know, about what, what, what is available in, in the field. But believe it or not, your networking should be all of them, including, you may be asking, including your dentist, even your doctor, even your insurance agent. Yes, yes, including all of them, because you never know who is going to give you a lead to a job. I got to tell you a story of a friend of mine who shared her, you know, her intention of looking for a job with, you, you won't believe it, her hairdresser. And incidentally, her hairdresser is also the hairdresser hairstylist to a, uh, to the, to the boss of a tutorial school. Uh, she's also in education and because of that she landed on a job in a tutorial school and she's now really one of the most famous uh you know tutors in hong kong so do not give up on any any possible lead to to a job every single one is in your network what is the primary purpose of a cover letter is it to ask for a job? You know what a cover letter is? You, you, well, today we are of course talking about the CV, um, but then the CV does not go by itself. You have to have the cover letter to introduce the CV. So what exactly is the purpose? Is it to ask for a job? Um, not really the purpose of the cover letter together with the CV is to ask for an interview. So this is where some of us got mixed up. The purpose of the CV is to ask for the interview. And the purpose of the interview is to ask for a job. 
So the most important thing when you write the CV is to make sure that you are given the chance to attend an interview. Well, here we have got some strategies. You may have heard of some of them because some of them are used in, 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 in business. Uh, well, this may be useful for you in interviews. Maybe Anthony later on can talk about this. Uh, during an interview, if you are asked to talk about, please tell us the time when you blah, blah, blah. Which strategy do you think you should use in answering this question? These kind of questions appear quite often in interviews. Tell me a time. Uh, for example, the interviewer may ask you, um, Miss Lee, please tell me a time when you led a group of people in completing a job. That is a time when, that is when they would like to know whether you can demonstrate your leadership skills. So when you are asked to answer a question like this, what you have to do is, well, these are all acronyms. These are all acronyms that stands for something. So each letter here stands for something. So I can tell you that the answer is, yes, thank you so much. Uh, Wen Ting, thank you, yes. Wen Ting, do you know what STAR stands for? You got the right answer, yes. When you attend a job interview, when somebody asks you, oh, Wen Teng or Miss Yang, sorry, it's in race, Miss, right? Uh, Miss Yang, can you tell us a time when you overcame a difficulty together with a group of people? Then, yes, you use the STAR strategy. So, Wen Teng, do you know what STAR stands for? Yes. Very good situation. Then task. Thank you. A. Action and result. Thank you so much. Yes, when you attend an interview and when you're asked to this question, when you're asked to answer this question, the strategy that you need to use is a star strategy. Situation. Tell people what the situation is. Oh, okay. Some, um, okay. So what you have to do is you have to start with situation, then the task. So the situation or oh, the situation is, oh, I don't, I, um, well, at that time it was a job when I have to organize the orientation camp. So that was the situation. So the task is, okay, I have to prepare a three day camp for first year students and the action actually means the things that you have done and the result is the, um, you know, what came out from, from that situation, from that task, from the action that you have taken. So if you are asked a question like this, then you can use the STAR strategy. 如果是如果是如果是如果是如果是如果是如果是如果是如果是如果是如果是如果是如果是如果是如果是如果是如果是如果是如果是如果是如果是如果是如果是如果是如果是如果是如果是如果是如果是如果是如果是如果是如果是如
Third, we have to recognize the change in nature of jobs. Jobs today are quite different from jobs in the past. I'm going to go over that. Next. We have to learn about a career and choose a path. Then we have to search for a job both electronically and traditionally. 好，咁呢一個程序咧，就係我哋要揾工之前咧，首先要預備自己去去做到嘅一樣嘢嚟嘅。好啦，咁我哋逐樣睇下。第一樣嘢 ，identify your interest。We got to identify your interest. We got to know what we're really, really interested in. For example, do I enjoy working with people, or do I enjoy working with things and data? 兩樣唔同嘅嘢嚟噶，其實你諗下你自己，我我係咪好中意同人合作嘅咧？定係其實我自己中意自己一個人做嘢嘅，我中意啊，自己對住啲逼誒，自己對住啲 data， 我中意自己做嘅，唔中意同人做嘅。咁你要諗下啦，我係咪要自己做 boss 咧？定係冇問題嘅，我可以係加入一個公司啊，去做一個團隊嘅其中一部分。我。How important are salary, benefits, and location? Some people are pretty concerned about these things. Some people are not. So, if you are concerned about these things, then you may need to think very carefully what kind of jobs you are looking for. Second thing, we just talked about this. We have to evaluate your qualifications. What skills can I offer? Um, or sector? Do you know? What kind of languages do I speak?、Mm, I I believe that in Hong Kong,、mm, a lot of people speak the three varieties of Cantonese, English, and Putonghua. Do I know other languages? Can I offer more to this company? What kind of technology skills can I offer? And how do I demonstrate my skills? So think about evaluate your qualifications. The third thing is that we have to recognize the changing nature of jobs.、Uh, what does that mean? It means several things. First, we have to understand that there are fewer people in permanent positions. 喺啊，而家呢個嘅工作嘅環境咧，都好好少有啲工下可以話誒話啊，一一請就係。For for life， 好少有啲咁樣樣嘅工嘅，咁我哋要要明白呢一點。其實好多工咧都唔唔係 permanent 嘅啦。The second thing is we have to understand that the workplace is more flexible, including telecommuting. Telecommuting means that you work. I I think we are all very familiar with this in these two years. We work from home. Telecommuting， 即係話咧。我哋唔再係可能去一個公司，去一個好固定嘅地方去翻工噶啦。你上班嘅地方可以係任何一個地方，只要你有 connection， 咁就可以翻到工噶啦。咁呢個係一個大嘅趨勢嚟嘅。I do have a friend who is working like this. I do have a friend working in one of the biggest、um, social networking platforms and. She re she works. She actually does have her workplace. She does have her office, but mostly she works everywhere. So even having lunch with us, with friends, she's still still working. And this is, I mean, this is the trend, and and we'll have to accept that. And the last thing is that we have to keep updating our skills. Some graduates. Missed the point and thought that okay, I've got my degree and I can go out and and I can get my dream job. Yes, maybe at the beginning, but you have to keep learning. It's a life long learning thing, lifelong learning thing. So you have to so things skills have to be updated every now and then. Next. Uh, we have to learn about our careers and choose a path. And、um, 我哋要嗯、um, 知道點樣樣去學習下我哋
想做嘅嗰份工嗰、那個範疇係點樣樣嘅。誒、um, ，有 lot of things that you can do. First, you can visit. Well, um, some、uh, universities have got a career center for us. Of course, is that we have to visit the Student Affairs Office. That's the place for us to, you know, visit and get information about the、uh, career. And of course, you can take a summer job or part-time job to learn about your career, the career that you would like to pursue after you graduate. 咁咧，我哋可以去誒，嗯，做一份暑期工啦，做一份 part time 嘅工啦，係同你而家讀緊嗰啲嘢有關嘅。或者咧，我知道咧呢度有同學咧嚟緊都會做 internship， 嗰個都係個好好嘅選擇。咁咧就可以咧學習多啲關於你想做嗰個行業嗰啲嘢啦。And even volunteer 可以做下義工啦，誒、呃、或者可以係誒。呃訪問下已經喺嗰個 field 嗰啲人咯，咁係邊個咧？咁當然就係、是、其實兩個途徑嘅，一就係你嘅 professor 啦，另一個咧就係嗰啲畢咗業嗰啲同學啦，可以問下佢哋啦。同埋仲有一樣嘢就係可以咧去 join 下嗰啲 professional organisations。You could join professional organisations to get to know more about your your dream career. Um, a lot of professional organisations have got student membership. 嗱，我知道咧呢度有啲同學咧係喺誒啊係喎，同學啊，可唔可以喺個 chat room 嗰度回應下我啊？你哋係邊個 department 噶 ？Which department are you from? Can I can I do a little survey here? We have. Let me check. Okay, we have got quite a few people here. Can you tell me which department you are from? Ah,、oh, okay, 好啊，好啊，好啊。Civil engineering, 好。咁咧，哦，我見到喎，有 journalism, journalism and advertising. JAC 係 advertising 係咪啊 ？JAC is journalism. Oh, thank you, thank you. Accounting, 好啊，好啊，好啊。嗱，咁樣樣嘅喎，原來咧。好多嗰啲 professional organisations 咧，即係嗰啲叫做專業嗰啲團團體啊。誒、呃、嗱，譬如你係 accounting 咁先算啦。咁 accounting 一定有一啲 accounting 嘅嗰啲專業團體噶。咁咧嗰啲專業團體咧，其實好多時都會有一啲 student membership 噶。咁咧，如果你咧 join 嗰啲咁樣嘅團體嘅話咧，用個 student membership 一個誒、呃、優惠啲嘅價錢啦，去 join 嗰啲咧誒。團體嘅話咧，其實咧都好好，因為咧佢哋有工嘅話咧，佢哋會會喺嗰啲地方嗰度去去誒，即、呃、係、就是、做個宣傳啦。同埋最主要都係 network， 我真係好好要着重呢一點，就係、是、networking。因為咧，你會識到好多喺個行業嘅人，咁樣咧佢哋會好大機會咧就會可以介紹咗份工俾你。If you yes, if you are interested in knowing more about the About your dream career, you can join some of those professional organizations. They have got student membership, and with a discount price, you could, you know, join them and get to know more people. And if they have got any job openings, you you are one of the first ones to know. 我講翻我自己個經驗啊，其實咧，我因為我我本嗱我因為我畢業之前就已經係。已經係好想做誒、呃，即係語言學嘅嘢啦。咁所以咧，我就 join 咗咧嗰啲誒語言學嗰啲嘅 organisation， 就嗰啲語言學家全部都係全世界嗰啲語言學家。唔係，我 join 咗其實兩兩部分啦，香港嘅語言學嗰個協會啦，同埋國際嗰啲協會。咁其實真係攞到好多好多第一手嘅資料，係關於即係嚟緊邊個邊個地方請人啊。邊個誒大學會請 professor 咁去潮流啲都會會有好多嘅資料咯。OK， 好啦 ，having you know thought about your qualification, your interests, and also you know getting to know about your career through various means, it's about time to do the search. Two ways, one electronically. 咁頭先我哋講過啦，咁我哋 job search 就梗係。即係一一方面就係上網啦，電子化嘅、呃、去做嗰個嘅誒搜尋啦。誒、um, 不過 at the same time we got to look beyond the, the big board 
that is the big boss meaning job CV, CP job, ET good job, and so on. These are one of these are the big boss in Hong Kong, but we have to look beyond them and look for company websites, professional organization sites, as well as LinkedIn. I'm sure you know know about LinkedIn. LinkedIn is now very Many times, when you work, you can use it as a platform. It's very good. I think you should use it. If you haven't used it, you can try it. Okay, I'll ask you and the students. Have you already started working? Is there anyone here who, who are already looking for a job? Or who has already secured a job in the summer internship, whatever, or who have previously, maybe last year, worked or uh, have taken a summer job. Oh, Yamodi,呃,Yamodi,呃,同学,还有用过的website,还有用过的website,还有用过的website,还有用过的website,还有用过的website,还有用过的website,还有用过的website,还有用过的website,还有用过的website,还有用过的website,还有用过的website,还有
。And 係千祈唔好放棄咧，一定要揾 professor 去誒，即係係咯，多啲同 professor 去溝通下啦，睇下有啲咩最新嘅工作嘅。誒、呃，我我都係再要 stress 多次，就係、是、network， 一定係用 network 噶啦。好啦，誒、呃，啊呢、這個問題就應該頭先問你哋嘅，邊個係你嘅 network 咧？我哋點樣可以令到我哋 network 大啲咧？咁其實都～靠大家自己努力啦 ，network 盡量。頭先我所講嗰啲唔係講笑噶，即係嗰啲髮型師啊、醫生啊、牙醫啊，全部唔係講笑嘅，真係全部係 network 嚟嘅。好啦，咁啊，跟住咧就真係去到我哋個 CV 啦。咁咧，誒、呃、寫個 CV 之前咧，我哋有少少準備工作嘅。咁誒、呃，都係啦。首先睇下個 job market 啦 ，learn about the job market, research the job market, and then look at your strengths. 最緊要咧就係今日咧，我都會 show 俾大家睇下一啲 model 嘅，啲 resume model。咁我哋不斷咁練習，你第一個寫出嚟嘅 version 咧，一定唔係最好個 version 嚟嘅。咁但係咧，一定要開始寫，同埋咧不斷咁樣去 revise。You have to start writing your resume、uh, after your research work, and the first version that you came up with probably will not be the best version. But what you have to do is to keep Revising, keep revising your resume until it is presentable. 好啦，再 stress 多次就係 resume 嘅用處唔係要攞到份工。啊，我唔可以一百個 percent 肯定。誒，我唔可以一百個 percent 肯定話俾你聽，你 send 完個 resume 就未必會有一份工。可能有都唔定嘅，可能真係冇 interview 呢個階段。咁但係正常咧。係有一個 interview 嘅階段嘅，你 send 咗你個 resume 之後咧，跟住咧就應該有一個 interview， 跟住只係即係一個結果係大家係決定誒係咯，係、呃、聘用定唔聘用啦咁樣樣。所以咧 resume 嘅用處咧，其實就係你係要攞到個 interview。好啦，點樣寫一個 resume？ 第一揀個 style。第二，決定個長度。第三，我會同大家介紹一下個 resume 裏面有啲乜嘢嘅 section。好，頭先講咗啦。如果你個 style 係有個選擇嘅話，其實你係可以選擇 chronological 或者係呢個 functional 嘅。咁 chronological 咧就係你 list 啦，你嗰啲工作啦。咁咧，但係咧就唔係話由順序喎，係反翻轉嘅，即係話咧你 list 咧你最近嗰一次嗰個工作經驗先，跟住至慢慢再褪翻去之前嘅。而 functional 咧就係、是、focus on 喺即係你嘅 skills 啦，即係話啊，我譬如 management skills 咁有誒、呃、一扎啦，咁我就會話啊呢份工 A A A。A 呢份工我 demonstrate 我嘅 management skills，B 呢份工我 demonstrate 我 management skills，C 咁啦好啦，咁啊另外一種 skill 咯喎，咁又係啊 D E F 就係 demonstrate 我另外一種 skill， 以 skills 嚟做分類嘅。咁頭先講咗啦，誒、嗯、可能咧有啲誒、呃、比較誒誒、呃呃、有經驗啲嘅人士咧，佢哋會覺得啊好似 functional 會比較誒。呃即係講到多啲啊，因為如果你係如果有好有經驗而你又真係做過好幾份工嘅話咧，咁可能 function 都會有幫助嘅。咁但係咧，因為而家大家都係 undergrad 啦，咁我相信你嘅經驗應該未係好多住嘅。咁所以咧，我會建議大家用 chronological 咧就會即係好 make sense 啲。因為譬如如果你話啊，我如果一個 skill 即係一份工可以 demonstrate 到嘅，咁咪唔好睇咯。所以就最好可以就係用 chronological 啦。對於 fresh grad 比較少經驗嘅大家嚟講，好啦，咁咧誒幾長咧？呢、這個都係大家成日問我嘅問題嚟嘅。其實真係冇乜特定嘅長度嘅、呃。但我真係覺得唔唔好，我自己就會覺得真係一至兩版紙就好啦。真係唔好過三版。No more than three pages in the resume. 好啦，咁我介紹下你嘅 resume 需要出現嘅一啲部分。咁咧。
就唔係話一定要係咪一定要跟足佢，又未必嘅。不過呢啲通常都係好多時我哋 CV 都會出現嘅一啲部分嚟嘅。好，咁我哋逐個睇下。啊、首先介紹咗每一個先啦。Heading 其實就係有你個名字啊，你嗰啲個人資料嗰啲嘢嘅。Career objective 咧，呢、這個就係你,你想做，即、就、係、是、你自己嘅目標，又係啲咩啦 ？Summary of qualification 就係你嗰啲誒資歷啦、教育啦、work experience、special skills、achievements、awards and so on。好，咁咧 Heading。其實咧好簡單嘅啫，只要咧 list 咗你個名啦、地址啦，同埋嗰個、呃、我我我諗係咯，我諗而家大家會留嘅係誒電話啦，同埋 email address 嗰啲啦。有啲同學問我，誒、哎、咁我即係使唔使留埋其他啊嗰啲 IG 啊嗰啲嗰啲又真係未必一定要嘅。咁如果你係揾一個特定嘅工作咧，你可以擺埋你個 career career objective 落去嘅。OK， and then 好啦，跟住之後啦，誒、呃，跟住你可以誒、呃，如果真係有一個誒、呃、job title 嘅，有一個誒、呃、公司嘅名嘅，都都可以擺埋落去嘅。OK， next summary of your qualification， so qualifications here。Uh, does not really mean education, but all the things that you have, or all the things that that you have done that demonstrate your skills. So some of you might ask me, what do we mean by qualification? 咁可能咧，誒有啲同學佢有一啲專業嘅資格嘅，嗰啲其實都可以擺落去咧，作為一個 qualification 嘅。Okay, next is your education. Ah,、uh, you got to give the name of your degree. Okay, full name of your degree. 我俾一個參考俾大家啦。咁咧，你可以寫呢個嘅。这个、呢個咧，可能就係我會寫嘅一個。一個嘅、uh, degree 嚟噶，咁咧，但係咧有一樣嘢大家要注意喎、哦。There is one thing that you may need to pay particular attention to， 因為咧我而家用咗簡簡略嘅 BA 啦，咁其實我真係會建議大家咧寫翻個 full form 出嚟嘅。我明白啊，可能有啲同學話誒、欸，其實我寫 BA 明噶啦。誒、uh, Bachelor of Art 應該會明嘅，但係其實喺個 CV 裏面咧，我就會建議真係寫翻個 full form 咯 ，Bachelor of Art 咁樣樣會,會好啲。係啦 ，Bachelor 係譬如你哋誒 Civil Engineering 嘅係 Bachelor of Science 咁樣算算啦，跟住要寫埋如果係 Honours Degree 就寫翻 Honours 啦，跟住就 English Studies。咁即係話你個 degree 係 in 邊樣嘢嘅，咁都要寫埋佢。同埋另外一樣嘢啦 ，date of graduation， you got to put in the date of graduation。如果你係下年畢業嘅，咁你咪寫 expected 誒二零二三咁樣樣咯。啊，仲有一樣嘢就係千祈唔好漏咗個 institution。好多女士咧，同學咧，寫完嗰、那個咧，誒、呃。嗰、那個 degree 名之後咧，漏咗 institution 啦，咁千祈唔好漏 institution， 即係話你係邊一間學校畢業嘅。好啦，咁咧大家就千祈咧唔好錯啦，千祈一寫翻我哋學校名係淨寫成個 full form 嘅。點解咧？因為我見過咧有同學咧咁樣喎、哦，我又見過同學咁樣樣喎、哦，咁咧。當然我哋知道係邊誒係學校名啦，咁但係即係睇住你個 CV 嗰個人未必會知啊嘛，所以咧就一定要寫翻全名，學校個全名。好啦，另一樣嘢可以寫嘅就係、是、其實你係 major 乜嘢㗎 ？What you can list your major and GPA, G 
GPA 咧呢、這個咧就有少少、呃、都要講少少嘅。誒、呃，係咪一定要寫 GPA 呢？又唔係嘅。咁如果咧，我嘅 advice 係，如果你嘅 GPA 係好 sell 得嘅，咁就寫咯。如果你嘅我唔係好唔冇乜特別啊 GPA， 咁就唔需要寫啦。好，你可以講少少關於咧，你讀嗰樣嘢係乜嘢嚟嘅？咁但係咧就唔好 list 曬上，就係你你四年裏邊讀過曬嘅所有 courses 嗰啲名出嚟，咁就麻麻地啦。儘量就係寫翻你主要係讀乜嘢嘢，一個少少嘅簡介咁樣樣咯。OK， coming to work experience， 咁我知道大家咧都嚟緊啦，會申請。可能 internship 啊、summer job 啊咁樣樣，咁如果你個 work experience 係同你嗰個申請嗰份工係有關嘅，咁你咪可以講一講。咁亦都有同我講，又問我就話啊 ，what if my work experience is not that related to the job that I'm applying for？ 咁點算咧？寫唔寫好咧？我俾大家嘅 advice 係，如果你個 work experience 唔多嘅，點都寫落去，因為有係好過冇。我唔冇理你個 work experience 係咪真係同你而家現在申請嗰份工有冇關？其實可以係，無論係幾冇關嘅一份，看似幾冇關嘅一份工都好啦。其實深刻都係有關。你喺嗰份工攞到嘅 experience， 無論點都好，對於你將來做工其實都係有一定嘅影響嘅，所以咧喺目前大家 work experience 唔多嘅時候咧，我我真係會覺得乜嘢工都寫落去。係有同學問我，咦咁真係㗎？我做過啲好足細嘅工，譬如啊、哎，我好似做過啊誒聽聽電話嘅，誒、呃、可能係啊誒、呃、啊，譬如我做過誒、呃、census 啊，之前上牌咧。政府咪請同學去做嗰啲、呃、census， 即係誒嗰個人口普查嗰啲工嘅。哦，咁即係同我而家申請嗰份工真係冇乜特別關係嘅喎。Don't worry, put it in there because your job experience is going to be relevant. Whatever it is, is going to be relevant to your job that you are applying for right now. 好，咁呢個咧。嚟緊呢個我想講嘅，我關於 work experience 呢個 tip 咧就好重要啦。除咗你 list 你嘅 job 之外咧，你仲要有少少嘅 description 關於你嘅 job 嘅。好嗱，首先咁樣先嘅，譬如我係做過，我喺一間中學做過 teaching assistant 嘅，咁你咪寫 teaching assistant 咯。嗰、那個工嗰份工，你個 job title。跟住咧就係、是、你僱主嗰個名，跟住就係嗰個日期啦。所以 start with the job title， then the name of your employer， and then the date。咁個 date 即係使唔使好長盡咧？又唔使嘅。咁但係起碼有年同埋月份喺裏邊咯。咁我呢個 example 咧就係、是、啊，有兩份工嘅誒 teacher assistant、graduate master。咁呢個就係即係一個 standard 嘅 format 咯。好啦。另外啦，你寫咗份工嗰、那個 job title 嗰、那個僱主嘅名同埋嗰個日期之後咧，好多同學咧就喺呢度完咗啦。其實咧，你係需要形容一下你嗰、那個嗰份工係做咗啲乜嘢嘢。大家見唔見到我呢度 highlight 咗？見唔見到我 highlight 咗幾個字？我想大家試一試啊！嗱、啊、，I would like everyone to give it a try. Um, as this is a workshop. Uh, can I ask you to describe your previous job or any job that you have taken using an action verb? 即係話用一個咧呢啲 action verb 嘅意思，即係一個動詞，去形容下你之前任何一份工啦嘅嗰個工作嘅範疇。大家試一試好唔好啊 ？Can we give it a try? Can everyone give it a try? 咁咧，你寫咗可以擺喺 chat room 度啊。咁咧，我可以積極俾少少意見你嘅。
即係話，如果 if you have if you haven't done it well, if really you haven't done a job before, then describe an extracurricular activity. 如果你之前我、哦、真係從來冇做過一份工嘅，今次第一次做工，咁咧你可唔可以寫一個 description 係關於一個學生活動嘅？其實去到呢一個 point 咧，我都要講一講。如果你係從來都未做過份工嘅話咧，唔緊要嘅。咁你盡量要參加多啲學生活動。如果唔係咧，你個 CV 就冇嘢可以寫落去啦。唔好理嗰個學生活動係有幾大或者幾細，幾細都好。如果你係需要嘅話，可以寫落去。Thank you. Thank you, Wei Xing. Control the progress and quality of inside. Control the progress and quality of inside construction works. Yeah, I can relate to that. Oh, how well. Thank you, guys. I like you, Wei Xing. Another thing you need to do is, if your job is already finished, already completed, then you can use the past tense. So, and also. 一份工咧，咁我要寫幾多個 description 啊？你要注意喎、哦，我呢度咪寫咗三個 description 嘅，其實講緊一份工嚟嘅喎。These three descriptions are actually for one job. So for each job or for each extracurricular activity, I would say at least two descriptions. 得唔得啊？每一份工最少寫兩個呢啲 description。用個 action verb 嘅，當然三個都好啦。如果你話誒、哎、我唔係好多工啊，咁我以嚟淨係做過兩份嘅啫，咁咪寫多啲咯，三個咯。仲有冇同學想試下？你可以寫喺 chat room， you can put it on the chat room and we can take a look。呢個好重要，好重要。有好多同學就係 miss 咗呢一 part， 淨係寫咗嗰份工個名。即係個 job title， 嗰間公司邊年邊年幾多月幾多月幾多月，但係就漏咗呢一個 description。仲有冇同學想試下呢？你可以 put it in the chat room。你可以。Think about your previous job and put it in the chat room. Put that description, put the description of your experience in the chat room, and we can, and I can take a look. 好啦，咁咧除咗嗰個 experience 之外咧，當然就係可以講下其他嘅，嗯 ，skills 啊。咁我呢度咧又係喎。其實呢個係延續翻誒、呃，延續翻我之前 teaching assistant 嗰份工嗰個例子嘅。咁咧呢度咧就講咗啊，除咗我做咗 teaching assistant 份內嘅工作之外咧，原來咧我仲有做咗其他嘢㗎，即係話咧 include non-technical skills， 即係話除咗你嗰份工。好明確寫咗嗰啲 job duties， 你可以寫個 description 之外咧，其實你仲可以咧寫呢啲、啊、原來我作為一個 teaching assistant 啦，我仲搞咗個 English week 啊，我咧又幫手咧學校咧整咗個 English subject 嘅 web page。So these are the additional things, additional things that you could include in in your CV。好啦 ，What else? What else? Special skills, achievements, awards. 我知道咧，其實咧，誒、呃、學校啦有好多 award 㗎，即係嗰啲獎獎勵啦、獎項啦，誒、呃、全部都可以擺落去，全部都可以擺落去嘅。All employers actually try to seek people who are all round. They don't want people who are just, you know, very good in studying but doing nothing else. They want someone who is all round. So show. Show your all-roundedness. Show your well-roundedness by listing all those awards, ah,、uh, 
extracurricular activities that you have done because all of those things show a lot about you. They show your leadership. They, talk, they show your teamwork. They show your, your loyalty, your, your, you know, the way that you work with other people, your ability to work with other people. 好啦，到最後啦 ，references。references 係咪一定要填呢？嗯、um, ，is it obligatory？ is it absolutely necessary？ 其實就、um, 你,你可以填，可以唔填嘅。咁咧，根據即係大家喺香港揾工嘅經驗咧，就係、是 uh, 你可以誒啊、um, ah, ，thank you Celine。yes， definitely。thank you Celine。yes， we should definitely。yes。Do yes, we we do encourage our students to you know participate in extracurricular activities, and yes, a a good addition to to our CV. Okay, back to references. 好啦 ，references 點樣 ？References 咧就係 who who are your references? The best references are of course your instructors. 即係話你而家你 professor 就係最最好嘅 reference 啦。如果你而家 ，if you are you are you are working in a summer job in an internship, get your reference from your employer. Um, 完咗份 internship， 完咗份 summer job， 完咗份 part time job 之後，記住記住，問你個誒、uh, supervisor 可唔可以做你嘅 reference referee？ 嗱，咁呢個咧禮貌上係一定要問。Maybe I just、uh, add a little bit, Yang Selin. Yes, yeah, yeah, for you. the reference, yeah, yeah. yeah. I I just want to get feedback to uh, uh Cecilia, Doctor Lee, and then uh, other student. For some of the internship company, they have the standardized form. Yeah, so they did mm. they do uh for the bigger one, they will distribute uh for uh each of the internship, and they my student will get it. Okay, but for some uh maybe smaller company, they don't have this uh standardized uh. Process and may you may need to ask themselves, but、uh, I just want to update everyone about the latest one. Uh, uh, for the bigger, uh, uh, for the civil the con、uh, contractor companies, they they will they will just give it to you. Yeah, so everyone. Yeah. Thank you, Celine. Thank you so much for the supplementary information. This I think is great that the companies the internship. Ah,、uh, the companies are offering、uh, the standardized ah、uh, kind of references to our students taking the internship. Yeah, if it is yes, if it is not offered immediately, so yeah, do do um do take the initiative to ask for such a reference. Hmm. Yeah, it's going to be very useful. Thing is. Is it necessary for us to list our references at the end? Well, I'm showing you here a a example of a reference, um, list of references. Uh, you, I, I would suggest that you could include a references section in your CV, but if it takes up too much space. If it takes up too much space, then you can simply write available upon request. 好，我再講一講啊嗱，因為咧其實 references 你可以預備呢呢、这個，譬如呢個係一個一張紙嘅 references， 係淨係 references 嘅啫。你可以將你可以喺你嘅 CV 最底嗰度 references 咧。唔唔需要 list 曬所有嘅名出嚟，因為如果你 list 曬咧，其實你嘅 CV 就幾長嘅。你亦都可以寫 available upon request。不過如果你話啊唔係，我我個 CV 本身都唔係好長啫，我有好好多位可以寫 references 嘅，可以寫埋直接寫埋佢哋個名嘅。咁你當然可以寫埋落去都 OK 嘅。不過 the first thing that you have to do is you have to get the Uh, 预早话俾 referee 听啊，我会摆呢个名落我嘅 CV 里边，系作为我嘅 referee 噶。咁可能到时咧，个诶、uh, 我申请嗰份工嗰个机构会联络你。咁 you have to have the consent of the people who are your referees before you put their name in your CV, before you supply their name to anyone. Really. 好啦 ，OK， let us let us move on. 
uh, well, I guess the most important thing is to look for ways to condense your data and ah, parallel phrasing. Check for parallel phrasing. Parallel phrasing 其實頭先都有講，略略講過啦，因為我淨係講咗 verb phrase。咁 parallel phrasing 嘅意思即係咧，如果你有一啲 point form， 咁咧，如果你同一個地方咧，你用咗個 verb phrase， 譬如頭先我哋誒講到 action verb 啦，咁咧你就要全部都係用 verb phrase 去開始嘅。咁其實其實喺 CV 裏邊咧，我我相信都應該係淨係 verb phrase 嘅。如果講到 description 嘅時候，嗰、那個就係 parallel phrasing 嘅意思啦。即係如果你用咗 verb phrase， 你就全部就對翻口係 verb phrase 嘅。誒，如果真係要 send 信件嘅話，誒、呃、用翻一啲有有質素嘅。章啦，誒、呃、喺 CV 裏邊咧就完全唔會有呢個 personal pronoun 嘅意思，即係 I 喺 CV 裏邊係唔會有 I 呢個字出現嘅，請大家留意翻啦。因為咧，我見過咧有同學咧將個 I 字咧就擺咗喺呢個 CV 裏邊 ，I did this, I did that， 咁呢個係唔會出現嘅。OK， next。Mm, not the place to for you to demonstrate your humor. And yes, if you have to use a paper, you have to send the hard copy. Please use quality paper and quality printer. 有同學咧問，哎，我係咪要用誒？係、呃、咪一定要用我屋企有 in inkjet 嗰啲 printer 好冇啊？如果你真係好著重嗰份工嘅就唔好啦。我真係會真係建議你一定要用你嘅 printer 去去去 print 你個 resume 啦。誒係咯，揾你嘅 colleague 啦，揾你個同學啊，揾你個 friend 啊，去幫你睇一睇啦。Try to you know look at your resume and you know let them you know give you some comment and yes please 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 proof read proof read proof read. It's very important because any spelling mistakes that will send your CV to the rubbish bin really. Um. 我呢度有啲 resume 啊，不過咧，因為我有好多好多啊，我諗我唔開曬俾大家睇啦。我呢度咧，係咯，或者遲，或者誒，係、啊、咯，稍後我都可以將呢個 file send 翻俾大家嘅。咁我或者試下開其中一個俾大家睇下。好啦，呢度咧其實有幾個 model 嘅 ，several models here。咁咧有一啲就係、是、誒。呃一啲比較點講咧 ，recent 啦。哦 ，sorry， sorry about that。好，咁我不如試下開下呢、這個誒、呃，大家應該係 current college student 啦、啊、，with 啊、uh,。试下呢个啦，试下呢个先。唔好意思啊，大家，我需要试下，我未开到呢、這个，我未开到呢个 file 住。嗯，唔好意思，我可能要再 share 多啲。哦，唔好意思，我真系我暂时，我唔知点样将呢个变翻个 cursor。好，我谂可能誒、呃、，Anthony 要唔好意思 ，Anthony， 因為咧，我呢度咧有少少 technical problem 啊。係係係。我可唔可以去咗你嗰、那個？因為我呢個係最後一部分，就係、是、我有啲 model 想 show 俾大家睇下嘅。咁但係咧，我暫時就唔係好開到，可能要再重新再整理下。咁 Anthony， 你會唔會想講咗你嗰部分先？我再跟住再 share 啲 model 俾大家睇下。哦，好，冇問題，冇問題，好啊，好啊，我好可以講。唔好意思啊，冇問題啊。
Ah, come uh, Well, so uh, I'll start my part first. Um, and to, at the same time, we'll wait for uh, Cecilia to uh, show you the samples. Okay. Um, now, the um, 因為剛才先都有同學,即是說,可能有同學就未必聽得明英文,有啲同學可能想希望有中文的解釋,所以我們現在都會,中英文咁樣並用去做這個講座的,我開一個,開一個試下,我都有少少問題。我都有少少technical issue,不好意思啊。OK了,OK了。好。OK,我们等我share okay, screen scene. Oh,大家都看到了,这样。那我們現在就會說一下關於interview skills的內容。Let's talk about interview skills. So, um, before I tell you actually about uh, the, what do you see in the interview, I would like to um, talk, I would like to share with you the screening process of the human resources management uh, personnel. Um, at first, when you are looking for a job, you will um, actually uh, facing five different rounds of interviews. At first, uh, you will be applying for the, for the job and then you'll go through um, the uh, HR personnel will screen your CV. Uh, actually, it's screening because uh, they have no time to process all of the uh, CVs, so they have methods to screen. And then, um, if you are chosen, you'll be um, chosen for a written tests or aptitude tests before you attend their interview. And for the larger firms or um, some government jobs or for the, um, they are final interviews. So um, there are normally five, uh, more, I mean, the, uh, there will be a, about five rounds of interviews that will, you will be uh, taking. Uh,我们会做这个,我们会做这个,我们会做这个,我们会做这个,我们会做这个,我们会做这个,我们会做这个,我们会做这个,我们会做这个,我们会做这个,我们会做这个,我们会做这个,我们会做这个,我们会做这
誒、呃、你可能將來嘅一個誒主管啦，咁就一齊去同你做面試嘅。跟住去到第五部分咧，就係、是、去一個叫做 final interview， 即係咩咧？即係話你去見一個誒個、啊、公司嘅比較高層嚇、啊，比較大啲嘅老細。咁誒、嗯、大概就係呢一個過程嚇。咁、啊、如果你係一個嘅誒、啊，你申請啊唔係喎，呢、这個可能係一個我我想去做一啲大機構嘅呢個 management trainee， 可能係咁樣。咁可能我去誒申請一啲細嘅機構，或者咧我係去做 intern 嘅。咁其實我好多時候我哋係成個 process 係簡化嘅，嚇。Which means, ah,、uh, what I said is, if you are applying for a smaller firm, ah,、uh, you will be facing a much a simpler process of screening, which will include round two and round four only. Um, that also applies to if you are applying for an intern、uh, position, ah,、uh, which only includes CV screening and、um, HR interview. Okay. 咁成個過程就咁樣咯喎，誒咁咧，咁對於大家嚟講，其實大家點解要去做呢個面試咧？好簡單，就係、是、大家希望咧可以揾到一個你適合嘅工作。頭先阿史斯尼亞都有講啦，誒、呃，我哋希望咧可以揾到一啲工作咧，係可以誒、呃、令到大家係誒、呃、適合大家嘅興趣啦。適合大家，即係誒、呃，即係去做一啲訓練。大家讀讀一讀咗誒個 degree 啦，咁其實大家都希望可以揾翻一啲工作咧，係可以發揮到你嘅長處嘅。啊，咁我哋呢啲係屬於一啲 personal interest。咁而另外咧，我哋亦都誒希望有其他嘅誒一啲因素咧，會令到影響我哋去見唔見我哋去揾工咧。我哋仲有其他嘅因素嘅一個行頭魚，我哋會去揀嗰個行業啦。我哋去揀嗰個公司啦，同埋佢哋會去揀個職位。咁如果你 meet 到呢啲嘅你嘅要求，譬如話係咪俾到你想要嘅職位咧？嚇係咪越高越好咧？嚇定係我哋係希望由一個誒唔、呃、同嘅範疇做起咧？嚇、啊、可能你話我要入電視台，咁其實電視台有好多唔同嘅誒、呃、工作嘅喎、哦，有前線後勤。其實你係想做乜嘢職位咧？啊，咁呢個咧都要大家去好好諗下，除咗你自己嘅 interest， 你要諗下你去你要瞭解下個工作嘅環境，到底電視台係一個嘅誒，可能係一個誒建築公司，其實佢係要求一啲乜嘢嘅誒崗位咧，咁你都要知道。咁佢哋嘅 salary， 佢哋嘅翻工時間啦，佢哋嗰個嘅誒誒人工啦。同埋佢呢間公司好實質嘅，有好多即係誒係翻工一個好好現實嘅誒嘅情況就哦，嗰個職工索遠唔遠咧？可能你住喺屯門，佢如果間公司喺柴灣嘅，你做唔做咧？啊，咁同埋佢呢間公司對你嚟講係有前景嘅，係但係咪越大越好咧？可能大公司誒佢嘅佢嘅誒一啲對待遇啊，或者係啲細公司佢俾你嘅一啲訓練啊，係咪會有唔同嘅咧？咁你都要去理解。因為咧，每一個行業都唔同嘅嚇，咁、啊、呢、这個你就要睇下究竟呢啲嘢啱唔啱你咧。So in English, ah,、uh, which is you have to find a job that meets your own personal interests, which includes um these these um for example, does it match what you are learning or your strength or you have to look at the company is it far away from you and they can offer you the the salary you want. And that is your perspective in interviewing. 好啦，咁跟住咯，其實對方點解要 in 你咧？其實就係為佢點解要俾你一個面試咧？其實就係當然啦，佢要揀一個適合嘅人咧，去擺翻落個崗位度。Simply saying that、uh, the employers is looking for someone which maybe they don't know、uh, who can fill in the vacancy, which is、uh, cost effective. And they have the skill, blah blah blah. They are, uh, um, so. 咁好啦，咁其實誒成個嘅過程就係大家喺度睇下大家啱唔啱。其實就好似一個雙體嘅 ，it is like a matchmaking。其實大家就好似喺度雙體咁樣。哦，你覺得你人揀你，你揀人 ，both have the right to choose. Therefore, you have to watch carefully when you attend an interview. You have to open your eyes. Not only focus only on how you present yourself, but also be observant in how the employer presents. Are they working in、um, 
So um, what I mean is, do they have, um, uh, how long do you have to wait? Um, how do they serve you? And um, are the employers in good mood or are they motivated? And it reflects on how the employer is doing. And you can see um, when you go on an interview. So you learn that means the process of being there. You are a consultant. Beyond that, you are choosing your skills. You are not suitable for them. In fact, you have a different style. You can observe the other person. It is actually a suitable consultant. You will think that oh, actually, oh, in fact, this consultant is doing things very fast. 佢係即係你去面試嘅過程入邊咧，你好順嘅，或者你見到佢個員工咧，佢個誒工作氣氛係點樣嘅，其實你都會睇得到，大概估到你將來咧就會面對一個唔同嘅環境啦。嚇咁，所以咧記得擘大隻眼，記得張開眼睛咧去做一個面試。好，好啦，咁所以咧，其實誒、呃、我哋都會誒、呃、去面對唔同嘅面試啦。譬如話，我哋頭先講到啦，誒、呃，我哋會有一個 initial interview 同 final interview 嘅。咁有陣時咧，我哋就會去誒、呃，就去誒、呃，可能睇係好睇究竟你係一個 in 一個乜嘢嘅位置。可能你一啲唔同嘅公司啊，或者係你去做一啲唔同嘅崗位啊。有陣時咧，我哋甚至乎會面對一啲嘅誒 panel interview 啊。咁呃、大家都聽，即係去留意，唔知道大家有冇興趣去報一啲政府嘅工作啦。咁好多時候咧，因為、呃、面試嘅人比較多啊，咁所以咧都會有一啲 group interview 去誒、呃、開始先嘅，或者係啲嘅誒筆試啊，一啲嘅 written test 啊咁樣開始先啦。咁跟住咧去到後期先至啊，先至係一個 individual interview 嘅。所以 initial interview 咧，有陣時可以係 group interview。咁啊，係、呃、啦。咁啊，因為啦，疫情嘅情況啦，咁好多嘅誒、啊、網上邊嘅 interview 咧 ，online interview 咧就越嚟越多啦，嚇、啊、咁而通可能大家誒、啊，如果係一個 final year 同學嘅話咧，都會發覺哦，其實你可能大學嘅面試咧都會係上網用 Zoom 嚟做嘅，嚇、啊、咁但係 phone interview 咧就比較少，因為對方都想知道越多你嘅資料比較比較好啲，嚇、啊、咁、啊、嗯 ，so 誒、uh, ，what I said。Is、uh, there are several types of interview. Initial interviews can be individual or in groups. In larger companies,、uh, they prefer group interview because it's more cost effective, time effective for them. And for the final interview, it could be、um, uh, meeting your supervisor and the HR personnel, and even there would be an panel interview, which you are facing five or six of the interviewees.、Um, the There are because of the COVID, there are plenty of the chances that you will practice online interview these days.、Um, maybe、um, in interviewing for jobs or if、uh, for further studies, and、um, there are not many chances for phone interview because the employers want to see your face; they want to know more about you than only your voice. So, you know, you have to prepare well. 咁所以咧，其實好多時候咧，你由呢個學習嘅過程入邊咧，咁你都要去誒，你、uh, 主動啲啦。咁你亦都要咧去參加多啲唔同嘅活動。嗱，咁誒、uh, 回應翻頭先誒誒 Cecilia 佢佢講過，就係話其實我哋誒學生事務處咧，每年都係會有一啲嘅誒，唔係廣告時間啊。咁咧，我哋都會有一啲嘅誒活動俾。位同學啦，咁之前咧疫情前咧，我哋都會有一啲嘅誒叫 job fair 啊咁樣啦。咁因為疫情嘅情況啦，咁我哋都好即係誒僱主都未必可以做得到。咁我哋都會將呢個嘅誒，我哋就會做即係、就是、individual 咁樣去做啦。如果大家同學有需要咧，誒譬如話一啲嘅幫助啊，都可以誒聯絡我哋做一啲 career consultation， 我哋可以幫手嘅。咁包括咗係一啲嘅 CV 嘅 workshop 啦，誒。即係 CV clinic 啦，我哋就可以同一個嘅誒、呃，我哋嘅誒，即係唔同嘅同事咧，去誒講翻大家點樣去報呢個 internship。咁我哋都大希望可以做到一個一對一嘅嘅情況嘅服務啦，嚇、啊、咁樣。係啦，咁我哋亦都希望可以即係聯絡啲同學，即係幫你揾到，即係同你揾到一啲僱主嘅聯繫啊，咁樣嘅。咁大家都可以睇翻 SAO 嘅網頁啦。咁。
Um, 大家去繼續去講翻啦。咁大家其實誒，如果去做一個面試嘅時候咧，都需要去誒、呃、主動啦，好好準備啦，好小心啦，呢樣嘢好重要啦。需要咧誒、呃、去誒、呃、去表現到對方，俾對方聽咧，其實你係好有動力嘅，你係好合誒同人合作得好好嘅。咁樣，咁呢啲點可以做得到咧？其實由一啲好多唔同嘅小動作，有一啲你嘅準備嘅嘅一啲情況咧，可以準備到嘅。啊，咁 so you have to prepare yourself and um from as early as possible. The better the better、uh, the earlier the better. You prefer um before you leave the college, you uh take part in um school activities in the In the student activities, and you look look for part time jobs when you are in school. That is good. So,、uh, be prepared to show that you are active and、um, you are a good team player. So, how can they tell that you are prepared for the job? They prepare by by how you look, how you prepared. The, how do you know the company? So,、um, be prepared and motivated students. They assume that. They will know about the company, what they are doing, and what、uh, kind of job you are you are interviewing. And、uh, you have to prepare your documents well and organized, and you have to organize yourself well and with good manners. 嗱，咁所以话咧，其实你点样去俾对方知道你系准备好去诶揾工嘅咧？好多時候咧，我哋就會由自己嘅一啲細微嘅誒事物度着手啦。譬如話，你嘅外表係咪整齊整潔？你係咪著翻一個恤衫，係一個誒、呃、可以，即係可能係即係起碼大家係有即係剪個頭髮啦，或者係化一啲嘅淡妝去做呢個面試咧，個 outlook 好重要嘅。因為其實我哋又都有誒好多研究就話，其實一個人佢嘅誒第一個印象咧，頭三十秒咧。已經俾對方形成咗個印象，呢、这個印象咧就好影響你得唔得到一份工作嘅啊！所以 outlook 同埋你嘅 manner 咧，尤其是係一開始嘅時候咧，都已經好重要嘅啦嚇。好啦，咁跟住咧，誒、嗯、你就要去誒知道間公司係做啲咩嘅，你要去了解下，其實你要去睇喺公司網頁啦，大家申請工作嘅時候係用公司網頁去。去睇資料啦，亦都知道其實間公司係做啲乜嘢，佢會生產啲乜嘢咧，或者佢哋嘅工作職位嘅崗位其實係一啲咩嘅誒，係、嗯、一個乜嘢嘅部門嚟嘅咧，做啲咩㗎？你要知道我哋可能可能咧一次 send CV 咧，我哋係 send 成一百份、五十份咁樣嘅，咁但係咧，佢當對方去請你去做面試嘅時候，你要一定要揾翻你係 in 邊一份，你起碼要知道你係 in 緊邊一份邊間公司啊。咁同埋誒，你嘅工作嘅崗位係做啲咩嘅咧？你記得去誒、呃、去做一啲嘅資料蒐集啦。咁同埋咧，你自己嘅 CV， 你自己嘅一啲誒、呃、一啲嘅 documents 啦，啲 cert 啊咁樣啦，你都要好好咁樣去誒、呃，你都要整齊整潔咁樣俾對方去 show 俾對方睇啦，嚇、啊。嗯。咁誒，好、呃、多時候咧，我哋都會網上邊做一啲 interview 嘅咯喎。咁其實好重要啦，大家記得一樣好重要嘅嘢嚇，你上到網就必須噶啦。咁但係咧，當你去做面試嘅時候，無論係一個嘅 interview 係誒讀書或者係工作都好咧，一定要開 cam 嚇，一定要係試好你嘅麥同埋你 cam 係咪 work 嘅咧，一定要開到，要準時。咁同埋咧，越即係講得清楚同埋慢，因為網上邊咧其實好多時候都會有好多。小問題嘅，可能係連線啦，可能係個麥啦，可能係鏡頭。咁但係所以咧，其實你越清楚、越慢去做咧，去講咧就越好嘅。So um when you when you are doing as an online interview, be uh be prepared to turn on your camera and test your camera and microphone and connections um before you attend an interview. Talk as um clear. And loud as possible, and make sure that、uh, the internet glitches,、uh, maybe、uh, the disturbance from from the connection problems,、uh, that it won't stop the interviewer from hearing you. Um, 系啦，记得记得，你可能有好多个面试，但系咧。
都一定要睇下，睇清楚你係去邊度面試啊，網上面面試啊 ，check 清楚係誒、呃、去去邊間公司啦，同埋你係 in 緊邊一個職位嘅，呢、这個好重要啊。Remember to check on 誒、uh, every interview when and where you are attending the interview. And be prepared. Be prepared, and don't get over stressed. That you don't. Um, you have to get enough sleep to uh prepare for your good performance in an interview. 係啦，記得記得，好多同學咧可能都啊好緊張啊，瞓唔著啊，或者好多嘢好多可能同一時間有功課要做喎，咁我就唔瞓啦，咁我就第二日就去 in 啦。但係千祈唔好啦，一定要有足夠嘅休息咧，你先會表現得好嘅。因為好多時候咧，你唔係就咁去背一個嘅面試嘅題目，你係需要一啲嘅誒轉數啦，你係需要個個頭腦清醒啦，你先至回覆到對方嘅。嗯、hmm. ，so um this is one of the list that um you are going to bring to the interview， but I'll not cover them um one by one in this workshop， and um I'll I'll post this PowerPoint online and um。I'll share with you uh by email, so you you uh read about it uh by yourself later. 呢個就唔多講啦。咁可能一個 checklist 啦，大家要帶啲咩去面試嘅啊？咁啊，面試一定要早到啦。咁記得就係、是、啊，千即係大大約係早十五分鐘，早三十分鐘。有啲同學咧可能好緊張，我早一個鐘頭去。咁但係其實咧可能都會係一個。即、就、係、是、大家就未必需要啦，早三十分鐘咧都差唔多噶啦嚇。咁去到等候嘅時間啦，記得即係誒最理想咧，就梗係識電話啦。咁但係當然大家都未必會去做噶啦。咁所以咧最基本咧都係教靜音，震機都唔好，因為你一震可能你會緊張嘅啊。咁誒、呃、大家喺等候嘅時間咧都可以睇下自己嘅 CV 啦。記下哦，自己去做呢個工作嘅時候，或者可能翻翻咗學嘅時候，有冇啲乜嘢經驗你係好好深刻嘅，你可以分享俾對方聽嘅咧？係啦，咁你自己去做一啲問答先啦。So on the interview day, be reminded to arrive thirty minutes earlier, but not an hour. <coughs> uh, during your, the wait, you can switch off your phone or turn it into silent mode, and you read your CV again so that you can. Remember, are there any moments that you can apply the?、Um, if if you can remember what Cecilia told you, the stars, right? The stars process. How you can solve the problems with your skills, and、uh, any memorable moments you can share with the interviewer. 好啦，咁誒亦都係啦，大家即係去做一啲嘅面試嘅時候咧，都需要留意大家嘅一啲誒誒一啲可能眼神啦，或者係大家需要即係而家可能比較少就係、是、誒、呃、即係都因為疫情啦，咁大家都唔會握手噶啦。咁但係記得啦，去做面試咧，一定要保持眼神接觸啦、微笑啦，咁呢啲我都好重要。即使係網上面都需要嘅啊，係啦。咁呢啲誒即係關於呢個誒身體語言嘅。大家都好清楚啦，咁微笑，誒、呃、呢、这個眼神接觸啦，同埋大家通常咧都係唔好挨後咁樣嘅，啊 ，do not lean back， keep eye contact and and keep smiling， 啊，係啦，咁跟住咧，我又想同大家分享一下，即、就、係、是、一啲一啲基本可能我誒我哋去面遇到嘅一啲嘅面試嘅問題啦。咁譬如話，好多時候咧，我哋都都會即係要求做自我介紹嘅。通常咧，我哋呢個嘅自我介紹咧，都係兩分鐘以內就夠噶啦。咁誒、呃，其實點解對方要你做一個自我介紹咧？其實就係因為其實大其實對方咧都好多資料睇，佢未必可以誒、呃、記得每一個人佢嗰個嘅履歷嘅，可以咧。咁所以你即係自做一個自我簡介咧，就慳翻佢睇 CV 嘅時間。啊！呢個係真嘅，咁亦都有情有啲情況可以睇下你嘅表達能力啦，你嘅語言能力啦，或者你嘅待人接物都希望你可以誒，即、呃、係、就是、表達到出嚟啦咁樣。咁所以咧，儘量都自然嚇、啊、簡單咁樣就 OK 啦。咁所以啦，記得就係即係佢可以喺呢個嘅呢兩分鐘入邊咧，講下其實你嘅一啲誒工作或者係一個誒、呃、學習嘅一啲一啲履歷啦。你唔好覺得啊！佢你我寫曬 CV， 我唔仲要講咩？因為你寫完咧，你都要講多次俾對方聽嘅嚇。咁
、呃、你可以講下你一啲嘅你嘅方向啦，你希望去做啲乜嘢啦，咁或者你即係、就是、你喺 CV 入邊寫過嘅一啲資料，你係想去啊俾、呃、對方一個深刻啲嘅印象嘅，你都可以喺個自我介紹度講啦，啊，好啦。So be reminded that you have to keep your self introduction within two minutes. So what can you say in your self introduction?、Uh, it is、um, you can tell the employer about your name, your education experience, your work experience, and your achievements. Probably,、uh, if you are a student,、uh, tell them what you did, what you achieved in in the college. Maybe in only one or two、uh, subjects, that is fine. But the、uh, the point is to let the employer know that you have certain skills that they may want, and you have the strengths that they may need. 係啦，咁所以啦，其實呢個自我介紹咧，好簡單，就係話俾對方聽，其實你係有啲乜嘢嘅好處，你有啲咩強項。因為咧，我哋有陣時做 mock interview 咧，都有留意到同學咧，可能就覺得哇，好唔習慣。即係我哋要咁樣去誒、呃、介紹自己咧，其實未必係太太習慣。誒、呃，因為好似好似 hard sell 自己，但係其實唔係嘅。你俾對方知道，其實你有某啲嘅強項，你自己都認同嘅。其實呢個係一個信心嘅表現嚟嘅，大家要嘗試多啲嚇。係啦。咁有陣時咧，我哋都即係有有一啲嘅僱主就會話啦，啊點解你會做一個面試嘅咧？即係點解你會嚟面試咧？咁其實大家佢都想知道啊，你對佢嘅認識有幾多啊？咁其實你都可以講下，其實你知道呢份呢個工作係做啲乜嘢嘅嚇。咁同埋咧，你有啲乜嘢能力去滿足到呢間呢個呢、這個嘅職位？你係一個你要話俾對對方聽咧，你係一個適合嘅一個誒、呃、一個人選啦嚇。So,、uh, when you are asked why are you interested in their position,、um, you have to tell them that、uh, you have certain skills and you have certain experience in fulfilling what they are looking for. 好，我少少快，不過唔好意思，因為時間嘅關係啦。咁同埋啦，咁即係有陣時咧，可能同學都會話啊，我可能 skip 咗誒、呃、一年半年喎、哦。咁樣先至會去揾另一份工，即係或者係先至去去翻學啦。好多時候僱主都會問：咁你做過啲咩咧？咁你其實咧都可以講話，可能你係即係有一啲嘅誒情況啦，可能你做義工啦，可能你係誒翻緊學啦，或者可能你去緊，可能甚至乎以前係即係我哋都會有啲 working holiday 啦，咁樣。咁其實咧最好就係唔好作嘅，唔係一定唔好作啦。咁但係咧你都可以把翻對方聽。如果萬一你真係揾緊工嘅話，我可能都需要多啲時間去揾工啦，咁啊都即係去即係做一啲唔同嘅嘗試啦。咁其實你都即係話翻俾對方聽，其實你唔係喺屋企度白過嘅，最緊要係呢樣嘢嚇。So if you are asked、uh, why there are certain gaps for about months or years in your、uh, work and study history, you can simply be、um, frank with them and tell them maybe you're looking for a job or maybe you are studying or doing volunteer. somewhere else。係啦，咁跟住啦，當然呢題咧就大家即係誒，但即係學生咧就比較少見，但係通都會有留，都有啲啊僱主咧即係專登都會問，哦、啊，其實你有冇做過類似嘅嘢㗎？譬如話誒、啊，可能一啲即係可能需要一啲技技巧嘅誒、啊、一啲嘅誒課程，可能一啲比較專門嘅，譬如話。誒，大家去讀呢個 journalism 啦，大家去讀呢個 architecture 啦，呢啲咧，可能對方都會問你有冇某一啲嘅技能係需要嘅咧？因為大家有實習嘅，你嘅實習係非常之重要，你要去講翻你實習嘅，即使你冇做過咧，你都要講翻你實習嘅一啲嘅誒經驗出嚟俾對方知道。Your internship helps. Remember to tell the employers that what you did in the internship or volunteers, uh, when you're answering the question. 好啦，咁就好多嘅情況底下咧，都會誒，即係個僱主有好多唔同嘅問題嘅。你係好難，好難去捉摸到，其實佢想點樣問你。但係頭先嗰三個咧，係一個我哋即係認為大部分都會問嘅問題啦。咁同埋啦，另外一個好重要嘅就係、是，究竟你有冇其他問題想問我哋啊？咁樣，咁其實都誒睇翻啦。呃誒、呃，即係如果你當然喺你哋對話過程中，你有任何問題想問咧，其實都可以問嘅。但係如果萬一你真係諗唔到嘢問咧，可能你都可以簡單去問翻。哦，其實幾時會有結果嘅咧 
，呢個嘅面試係幾時會知道誒 result 價咁樣？呢個都好重要嘅嚇，呢個都可以問嘅。萬一你諗唔到咧，即係除咗我諗唔到嘢問啦之外啦，你都可以問翻一啲必必定可以俾對方答到嘅問題。嗯，好啦。So,、uh, what you are facing in the、um, in the interview could be the employer asks what you want you to ask, what you want to ask them. So,、uh, if could, you can't think of any、uh, questions, you can simply say no. But before that,、uh, I have a suggestion which you can ask. When will you get the rep、uh, reply from the employer after the interview? So、uh, this is this applies to all interviews.、Um, You no, know, uh, uh, no, uh, no matter you are、um, looking for a job or a further studies、um, opportunity, you can try to ask this question. 係啦，咁喺做完呢個面試之後啦，咁大家都可以諗下嘅，係緊張完啦，咁啊放鬆啦，咁大家都記得我哋放下，我哋做完之後咧，我哋已經做。即係完成咗我哋嘅、呃、面試啦，無論成,成功與否咧，其實都唔係你可以決定嘅，因為其實都未必一定係揾最、呃、可能係最高成績，或者係、呃、或或者咧，即係你唔即係簡單嚟講，對方唔揾你咧，唔一定係你嘅問題嚟嘅，可以係對方本身打算揾女仔，但係你係男仔，可能對方已經、呃心裏面咧已經諗到有一個某一個人選嚇，咁、啊、所以咧其實好多時候咧面試成功，恭喜你啦！但面試如果係唔成功嘅話咧，都唔一定係你嘅問題嚇。好、啊、多時候咧都係僱主佢本身已經有一啲嘅、呃、criteria， 佢本身已經有一個諗法，先至會去出一個 post 嘅啫、啊、所以咧就誒隨緣啦咁樣。係啦，咁但係咧，呢、这個都係一個好嘅經驗嚟嘅，因為你可以知道啦，其實即係你有冇啲可以改善嘅地方咧，咁樣嚇。咁記得 learn from the experience。If you can't succeed in one interview, that's okay. If you can't succeed in the many interviews, that's also okay. Because the problem it should,、uh, could not be your problem because the employers they may have、um, Uh, some some person in mind when they attend an interview, or they want to look for someone.、Um, they have their own criteria. We don't know, so it is not our fault if we don't get employed. But the, what matters is the experience that you you gain from the interview. Okay. So、uh, lastly, I would like to tell you about the. Uh, the piece that you、uh, for the jobs that you have to analyze, no matter if,、uh, it is your the job or yourself. So、uh, when you apply for a job, you look for the eight P's: the problem, the process, the proficiency, the product, people, and development, and the ethics. What what does it mean that、um, you look you go to the interview and you see if oh what. Problem? Are you going to tackle if you are employed? What is the process of tackling the problem? What the skills you need to tackle them?、Uh, what do you produce? Are you producing surface or actually some、um, computer drawings or videos? What is your product? And who you work with? Who you serve? And what do you do? What how? What will you achieve in the future? And、uh, how it would?、Uh, What kind of ethics code would you follow when you are doing the job? This is what you think uh, in uh, doing doing a job of developing your profession, and this is、uh, what I、um, would like to share with you today. And、uh, hi, Cecilia, are you ready? Yes, yes, I am. I have prepared some、uh, sample resumes to show、uh, everyone. Okay, Not so, a lot, just to to illustrate the points that I have given in the、uh, in the presentation just now. Okay, let me share. First of all, just very quickly because I understand that time is very limited. Um, so this is a resume, uh, just a sample resume to show you how this can be done. So this is what I was talking about the heading in which you see your name, your 
address, all your information like your uh, your mobile number, your email address, and so on. Of course, you can put in your postal address as well. Um, and then, uh, okay, and then there is a summary of the of your qualifications. But what I'd like to draw your attention to is the experience. Now, I've been stressing a lot on the, you know, the description of the experience. So take a look at this. So this is a position, a title of, of your title of your of your job, and also the organization, your employer, and also the date. So you can see here why it is not in the in the past tense, because it is a job that is still ongoing. So this is the, this is how you differentiate between the two. So if it is a job that is ongoing, see the date is uh, September 2008 until present. So this is a job that is ongoing. In that case, you use the present tense in describing your job, in you know describing your job experience. However, if it is a job that is already finished, like this one, then you use the you know the past tense so all these descriptions are therefore in the past tense see you can go up to here five points here so um yeah depending on depending on how many jobs you have in your cv adjust your experience the description of your experience accordingly if you've got a lot of jobs yes two to three descriptions but if you only got two three jobs maybe more description so yeah so this is what i'd like to show you i would just yeah just like to show you one more which is now this is the chronological see this is the chronological resume with the reverse order so you start with the latest job and then you go back now I'd just like to show you the um the functional the functional CV. Okay, take a look. This is the functional CV. So you can see it's not chronological anymore. It's organized according to your skill. So here, this particular person has put in sales and marketing skills, and then under that, he or she described everything every job that he has done that demonstrated that kind of skill and then moving on he has got communication and computer skills and then he described all the things that he has done that demonstrated that particular skill and then he moved on to organization and management skills this is what we mean by a functional resume so um yeah you can go for that on the other hand i would strongly suggest that you go for the chronological which i think makes more sense for the fresh graduate or undergraduate like yourself so thank you anthony that's all i'd like to share today thank you so much Thank if you have any questions, please ask ask us now. Or if you have no questions, uh, you are welcome to, to leave the chat room. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Goodbye. 
一常出現呢啲係 work from home 常出現嘅畫面，好犀利喎佢。嗱頭先冇出現喎，喺你完咗之後先出現。佢佢好驚啊！佢會頭會會佢會喺我上堂嗰陣時喺度大聲講嘢。<笑><笑> O、okay, K， 好啊，好啊，唔该晒 Anthony， 咁我 send 嗰个诶，我 stop 咗个诶 session 啦，拜拜。好啊 ，O K， 唔该晒，拜拜。拜。